Well, hi, everybody. It's that gratitude guy, David George Brooke, with another special guest on the Gratitude Podcast interview, The Pandemic. Today, I have a very close friend of mine I've known for a number of years, Mr. Scott Burns. Scott, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, and it's a pleasure to be part of your pandemic, Dave. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I know, I guess we shouldn't laugh about it. It's not funny. No, no, I know. But the what thing is, is that, that some of these calls have been really fantastic items that people have brought up. So let me start you off with my first question. What is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic since it's all started? Well, part of it has been humor. You know, and, and I've been watching a lot of the, the late shows, you know, everybody's doing, I'm in my tub room. I call it the tub room. It's, it's where we keep all, it's the, the spare bedroom with all the junk in it. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's not where I'm living, but, but that's where I'm, I'm talking to you from. It's kind of nice, actually. It's very right. quiet. Uh, but I found, go, going back to when times were happier, it seems like we're in a, in a kind of a, a continual Twilight Zone episode that somebody's binging True. on. True. Um, that... It seems life is normal, but it, it, okay, back to my original thing is watching Stephen Colbert and and some and uh, John Oliver and, and just seeing how they're do, doing it. It's 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 refreshing. It's a diversion, even though they're still talking about it too. But uh, but basically anything that is just kind of a, a humor uh, thing. Well, and humor has always been a big part of your past in radio and everything else you've done. And this is something. Do you think it's it's sort of I don't know if I'd say legitimate humor or is it black humor? Or is it more just sort of keeping things light through a tough time? Escape. It's an escape thing. And it's interesting, yeah, because I tend to like to, to do parody things and, and kind of That's true. have humor be that way. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm actually formulating things to do to get the creative surge out, but I, I, it's, not a funny, it's not a funny topic necessarily to me. I have seen some other people do parodies of uh, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Oh, and, interesting. I, I thought when I first saw that, oh no, here we go. You know, people were making fun of it, but it was actually very well done and it was oh, well done. Nice. So I appreciate that. But, but yeah, nice. it's, it's, it's weird. There's moments of, excuse me, of sadness. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, you just, it, but just kind of keep moving forward. And, and um, there's a lot of good things as well. That's very true. That's very true. And which kind of moves me into my second question. And so it's such an uncertain time. What would you say during this time you're most grateful for? Well, besides you. <laughs> that was a canned answer. <laughs> you always, I always start off, thank you for David Brooke for getting me into the, the gratitude mode. And, and I loved one of the comments on yours uh, from a friend of yours. We, we need to double down on gratitude. Yeah, that, I like that term, double down. That was good. It was really yeah. great. And, yeah. uh, I think gratitude mainly for technology of the fact that, that that's what keeps, that's what my living is. And that's how I, a lot of where my creativity comes from is through technology and the fact that we do have this and that it, it has moved, shifted things to where we can still keep in contact, maybe if not in contact, even better yeah, uh, or, or more efficiently. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've found, you know, I've, I've always have, have had this dream of, you know, working from home on my own. I have a day job. Uh, but I found that since we've all been kind of sequestered ourselves off and working remotely and using Zoom and go to meetings and things like that, yep, a lot more efficient. Yeah, it really is. Being there really in person, I'll, I'll, I'll come, I'll drop by and listen to that, or I'll, I'll come in right. later, or let's have another meeting, and, or the, you know, so it's just not. That's a great point. I think if I had a dime for every time you and I had coffee at Starbucks, it's been a number of times over the last uh, dozen or half dozen, dozen years. And you think about, you're right, if we spend an hour talking and catching up, but there was an hour getting there, going through traffic, getting to wait in, and David is late, Scott is late, you know, whatever it might have been. And here you press a couple of buttons and we're eye to eye. And I got to remember that because that's a, it's very efficient. That is a very good point about that that's come out through all this. It's, yeah, uh, and, and it's cleaning up the earth. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard, you know, the, everybody keeps saying, yeah, they can see the, the bottom of the canals in Italy now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, that's right. And, and the earth is there. Are, I keep going, the earth is probably going, whoa, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, we're not, we're not, you know, traveling and polluting and, and doing all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. and so yeah, if point. there's a silver lining to all this, and hopefully my wife is all, she's always been a, a a germ, not a germ freak. She's not a germaphobe. Germaphobe, or whatever they call it. Yelling at us to, to, to boil your hands. Boil your mm. hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> and my son-in-law said, I think this is your mom's conspiracy to, to, get, to do this terrible <laughs> thing to get everybody to wash your hands. So uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that, that we're learning, getting back to better habits, maybe. Mm, and, that's a good point. And, that's a good um, point. 
just you know it's it's an adjustment it is it's weird not knowing what the end is or when yes. it will be and yes, i think that's true. i think everybody needs that or we need something to have a deadline for something when when is this going to be over but yeah um, that's, that's very true and and uh i think it's it, it bring, people talk about they don't know how long it's gonna last but we will come out different and it, yeah. it won't, people will, i want to be back the way it used to be well it may not be back the way it used to be right. it very well be different and and so speaking of that what any other, you're very creative. Any other tips, thoughts, ideas of things to do while people are going through this? Well, one thing that I, I've, and again, I credit my wife, April, for this, is to uh, just to, and maybe people who work from home have had to deal with this for a long time, is to actually actually put clothes on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out of the, the sweats and the pajamas, and into another pair of sweats and pajamas, perhaps. But, uh, but, but to 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 act as if you're going to a job, and and I've even started uh, wearing shoes, which yeah. actually kind of helps. It just kind of gets you in that mode of that okay, is a great I'm point. I'm in a work mode, uh, so that's that's the the first little thing I've noticed. But I forget the rest. The first your your question again. Oh, already. Uh, tips or thoughts or any other ideas of people that were, uh, that's a good one too. I think about really taking the day seriously. Shave, yeah. I get up and shave and put on the clothes, put the shoes on. It's so easy to just put sweats on, but you don't tend to take it as seriously. So I think that's a great point. No, or the day. All right. Well, we're back with Scott Burns here. We had a little delay there on the Zoom, uh, Zoom room, if you will. Yes. But uh, just, you were How saying. <laughs> <laughs> technology that's right you were saying i really like that last point that you made and we were talking about tips thoughts ideas for people that may not be as creative or may want to just think of something i've had some on these calls that have been great i just another one your point about the clothes and doing the shaving and doing the shoes and getting ready and, and it just gives you a more business-like approach to the day don't you find yeah yeah and and Again, I'm in. I'm, I don't mind being at home. I mean, mm -hmm. it's only been two weeks. It seems that that's one thing that I'm finding out is uh, I'm losing track of what day it is. I mean, that's so true. Yeah. Tuesday. So I guess the the lesson is, is yeah to keep things as, as normal as possible and and go on that way. But nothing's normal anymore. So yeah, nothing is normal, and it's true. So so Scott, my last question is: Do you have a quote or a philosophy or sort of a way that Scott lives when he goes through? tough things like this or when it's kind of challenging that it kind of has kind of sustained you remember all quotes even when you can't remember them <laughs> that's why i like this to be spontaneous they go you should have let me do, you should let me do some research I, no i want it spontaneous yeah, no, i want it off uh, the top of your head uh the, well i use a calvin from calvin and hobbs uh, sure. my favorite uh cartoon of all time and i think we've we've uh, oh, okay you're back you froze a little bit or maybe you're yeah. just contemplating yeah, uh, and i I have it written down, but I can't remember exactly, but it's like uh, uh, my my work is utterly meaningless and it's therefore, or my art is totally incomprehensible and meaningless or therefore it it's meaningful or something. I wish I could remember it offhand. Yeah. If, I, if I had a little more time to prepare, I would have just knocked yeah. that one out of the park That's for you. Okay. But, yeah, and I will tell you too, as much as I want every person to have just their own ideas, I have heard a lot of this too shall pass you know, in terms of yes. from the Bible and things. And it's, it's really true, but because we've never, that I can think of ever been through something where the whole world is in this together. It's I not know. just a country or a state or whatever. It's, it's pretty incredible. Is, is, it's kind of, you know, again, we don't know. I think we all as humans want to know what the end is. True. Really. We don't get uh, that. That's true. The end of the book, but, but I guess just, just kind of absorb it, make it part of our, this will be part of our lives. And, and, uh, Hopefully, we'll have many, many things to share with our grandkids about it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. So, exactly. So pandemic well, of twenty twenty. So <laughs> exactly. Though those are those are really good points, and it's. Uh, I remember when somebody said that whole the, what you said about getting ready and the shoes on structured and have your whole. I do. I'm very structured. The whole list of like a normal day because it's it's easy to forget what day it is, and and but if you really are structured, it really does help you. Not just you can just fritter days away. Oh yes. You just watch TV and get all the negative news. It's it's negative, and they say you know if it bleeds, it leads. It's that whole thing. You know they want to give you all the bad stuff, but uh, if you get structure and get up and take the day, I, I don't know how else to say it. It's trying to take the day more seriously, maybe or something like that. Just just to, I I I I'm a list maker, but then I go yeah. back and look at my list, and I'm like I didn't do that, didn't do that, yeah. didn't get that done. Uh, I'm I'm easily distracted. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. 
that's a challenge. That is the challenge, especially, of course, being at home again, too, is you have, oh, there's the laundry, you know. Yeah, exactly. That I'm not going to deal with, or, or the 13 trips to the kitchen. Yeah, and, yeah. And, <laughs> So I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna collectively all gain a million pounds or something here from the. But you know, I, I think too, Dave. The, you know, when we think of the sacrifice that we're making now, when you compare it back to what our parents went through in World War II and all the, I mean, this is nothing. This like, is nothing. I totally agree. What a great thing to remember, and that's of course what gratitude, which I preach all the time, is all about focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. Yeah. And to think back, I always got a little upset about something the other day, and I thought, do you understand how many people are in worse shape than you are, David? Oh, I my know. goodness. I mean, I it's, know. it's tons and tons and tons. So that's such a great point in that. And, but it is, I always tell people, too, especially when I get to do my talks, it is a choice. You can decide to be left oh, to yeah. right, up or down, happy or sad, and to be grateful yeah. and focus on what you have. That is a choice. And so it's one we get to make every day. Yeah. And yeah. to keep remembering, you know, I want to be happy. I can be yeah. happy, you know, exactly. and, and think, think of the positive because yeah, if you look at all, everything you see on the news is, it's is all negative. And, it's all and negative. Too, tired so. of it. Yeah, exactly. Well, listen, thank you very much, my friend. Uh, that was Mr. Scott Burns. As I said, you can just tell, look at that smile on his face. Thank you so much for being on the gratitude podcast, the pandemic. Thanks, Scott. The pandemic issue. Yeah. You're welcome, Dave. Love you and stay grateful. You too. Thank you.